What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So if you guys have been watching the channel recently, you guys might have seen the video where I put those bad to the bone steps on Brandon's truck. I absolutely loved them and the company reached out to me and wanted me to install some on my truck. So if you guys like the way they look on Brandon's all black truck, hopefully we like the way they look on a lighter color truck like my, uh, it's like a champagne gold style paint. Uh, but I will warn you guys, it is very loud outside. The house behind my house, they're having tree work done today. The house next to me, they're cutting grass. And the house, like a couple houses down, they're cutting some stuff. So it's pretty loud outside. So just a fair warning if you guys hear some background noise. So just like last time, we got this massive box right here. Now, since these are going on a Ford and not a Chevy, the mounting brackets and mounting points are probably going to be different. I don't know. Uh, the last steps were the first set of steps I'd ever installed. So that was something new for me. And then it ended up being something super freaking easy. Yes, yeah, so you had out a bunch of vehicles in the driveway. So it's time to play some musical cars and get this somewhere else. Get this big girl right here. Pull it up front and center and let's get some steps put on her. Alright, so now that we have a nice open driveway, we can get a better look at the steps that are on this truck. Now they're just the factory running boards that come on these Super Duty style trucks. And they're just basically a big piece of plastic that has a bunch of mounting tabs on them. So I definitely think these steps are going to look a whole lot better on here. It's going to give something more aftermarket to look at. And I want your guys' opinion on something. I want to remove these, but I know the paint's going to be messed up underneath them. Should I remove them and just leave the messed up paint or remove them, get some new ones and paint match the black and leave a nice new chrome strip because they're, they're peeling off everywhere. So I want your guys' opinion on that. But now let's get our steps unboxed, see what all they look like, see what our mounts look like and everything, and then get underneath the truck and get our old steps removed. So if you remember on Brandon's truck, we did the black steps and they had that like polished kind of stainless looking face plates on them. These have the black face plates. Now I'm not completely decided on what type of wheel I'm going with on this truck. Part of me wants to do some like 20 inch stocks on 35s and part of me wants to do some like 22 by 12s on 35s. But unlike with the Ford, I just spent did a lonesome, a lonesome of money on that. I don't really have the money to just go buy some polished wheels unless you guys just keep hitting that subscribe button and keep liking the videos. That might help me out a little bit, but I don't have the money to just go buy some like 22 by 12 forces or anything like that. So I think we're gonna be running some black wheels on here. So the all black steps would look good and kind of like tie in with the body lines. 
You, you've got the, the darkness on the bottom of the truck. I think the all black step will tie in with that. So we see what our steps look like. All that's left in here now is our mounts, which seem pretty similar to the ones on Brandon's truck. They're just slightly different. So let's climb underneath the truck, see what all we're gonna have to do to get these steps off. All right, so just automatically looking right here, we're using the same mounting locations as before. Now I could just go ahead and reuse these, but these bolts look pretty worn out. They're actually pretty rusted. I might be reusing the bolts because I might not be able to get these bolts off. <laughs> but we're going to try and get all of these off. If not, we'll reuse our mounts, but they're identical to the ones we just got from Eda Motor. So let's zip all these bolts off. We can see our beautiful rock lights from it tuning. All right, so I just want to say something real quick. For the people that have been watching this channel for a little over two years now, you guys know I did a rock repair, uh, rocker rust repair video uh, about February of 2020. So we're going on two years now. That video has almost 500,000 views. It's got half a million views, and half of it is people saying I did a good job. The other half is people saying I did a terrible job. I want to show you guys what a terrible job looks like. Um, I owned that truck for two years after that, and I never had a problem with it. Uh, whoever did this rocker repair did a hack job, and I'm going to show you. So first of all, I noticed this um, when I bought the truck. I asked the guy about it. He said the guy that repaired the rockers didn't have paint that matched, so he did this on this side and then just made it look like this on the other side. That way it looked like it was supposed to be there. So I couldn't see behind these steps. And I'm going to show you why that was a bad thing so you see all this crap right here this is all kitty hair this is all like a type of fiberglass uh, bondo residue so you guys probably saw on the back side there's a piece of metal uh, from here to here that's replaced on the back side so I was thinking that was this whole piece and they just didn't replace that back section. What I think they did, I think it was completely rusted out right here. So they put in a piece of 16, 18 gauge sheet metal, tacked it in, and then filled all the other rust holes with Bondo because it's completely uneven. Um, there's globs of it right here. This sounds different, listen. This sounds hollow. Uh, and these, uh, these gaps are not the best right here. So I'm guessing they cut it right along here and then tacked in a piece of sheet metal right here and tried to shape the rest with Bondo. They didn't do a terrible job, but this edge right here does not match this edge. This is round. This is kind of squared off. Uh, so that's something I'm definitely going to have to replace in the future, uh, but as you can see this mangled up hole right here uh, Wherever it's at This right here did not want to come out um, It broke that little uh, Rib nut thing whatever the hell you want to call it and it won't come out and this bolt is so rusted The head of it is completely off. So I'm gonna have to cut it off from the back side and uh, then pull it out. But everything else came out good. I have to remove all these little tabs because they are all very rusted, all mismatched bolts. I mean, we have this bolt that was a 13 millimeter and is about three inches long. We have this bolt that's a 10 millimeter and two inches long. And it was like that all the way through. Um, just for example, 13 millimeter and 10 millimeter. Just mismatched bolts all the way through. That right there is why I do not pay people to work on my vehicles. Uh, this was an old man. I bought this from a guy that was dying, had cancer, and he said a local shop did all the work on this. The rear main seal, water pump, alternator, uh, anything he had work done on this was done by a local shop. Uh, I asked him about the roof leak, the windshield leaking, and he said that he was told it was the antenna. 
It's not the antenna. I've already been on the inside of that fender. It's not the antenna. The antenna is just a cord that goes down and then goes through a gasket into a firewall. And I promise you it's not that. It's coming from the windshield. I think it's coming from the A-pillar, but off topic. Uh, <laughs> that is why I don't pay people because this is a hack job right here. My rocker rust repair on that Silverado was not by book, but it will last years. I got from what I could see all the contaminated rust out of it and I treated what was left there and then covered it back up. And there is vent holes in those rockers, so it's not just gonna hold moisture. Everything that's treated shouldn't grow anymore. If anything else gets in there and gets stuck in there, that's what's gonna make it worse, not what I did. Uh, but this is definitely something I'm going to have to fix in the future because uh, it's definitely getting worse on the inside. You can actually see inside some of these spots in here and there is chunks of rust like this not to bueno no bueno so i'm going to continue getting this crap apart and hopefully here in a minute we can uh, get a step on here one more quick thing that tells me for certain that they didn't fix anything that's still the original color right there and it's completely smooth so somewhere in here is a rust hole that is filled with bondo that's absolutely terrifying to not know where a little while later we completely have the step off i had to cut the head of that very front bolt off and then pry the clip itself apart and finally got it apart and so many people say take the steps off it makes the truck look taller let me know what you guys think down below um i think it's like an illusion it might look taller but in my opinion it, it doesn't at all uh, what i noticed is like just opening the door makes me feel like it's taller but i know it's not because if i come over here it's the same height over here but honestly in my opinion the steps make it look taller as you see the steps and you like automatically think like oh you have to step up into that it's more like a, a mind game but i like the way the steps looked out looked on it uh versus no steps on it i owned a lifted truck for five years with no steps on it and this thing just has a leveling kit on it and I enjoy having the steps on it. So all people are like, oh, get rid of the steps, grant all steps, blah, blah, blah. I enjoy the steps. Now these steps were very rusted. This is almost completely rusted through. Uh, all of these were fine. It's what was right behind the front tire. And I'm guessing from this being a truck from the coast, it being near salt water, uh, only guessing like running over like rain on the road that has salt in it and it coming up on the side uh, just, I showed you guys that rocker this is the one that has evident rust on it and you can see all the rust bubbles and this right here is completely through because now I can reach the hole on the back side this is all completely through and these are just starting to come through so while I have access to those holes before the mounts are over them I'm going to take some WD-40 spray it in there just to try and preserve it a little while longer um i stuck my hand in where this whole like bondo type deal thing is and it feels like clean metal so my only guess is that they tacked it up at the top bent it tacked it in at the bottom and then tried to fill it with bondo uh, they didn't actually do it the right way i will do it the right way in the future i'm going to order complete replacements for rockers and tab corner for both sides Go ahead and knock both sides out, and then I'll repaint the truck. But that'll probably be about a year from now. I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. For the time being, I want to make the truck super reliable and just look decent for the time being. But it's finished getting these unboxed. Get them put on the truck. I'm excited. Since setting the camera up underneath here is kind of a hard thing to do, I want to show you guys kind of what you have to do with these mounts. So these little tabs right here slide over the pre-existing holes. I could do one right here uh one right here one on the very end but i want one at the very front of the steps so there's no weak point uh but i can only get three holes right up here i can't get a fourth hole right here unless i drilled a hole i don't really feel like doing that three holes will be enough so we're gonna do one right here one in the very center and then one at the very end that will be plenty uh, but unfortunately, there's nowhere for me to set the camera for you guys to see this. Uh, Brandon's truck was a little bit easier. We could set it on a tripod. Uh, but his truck is a little bit taller than mine. Uh, mine on a tripod. You guys would be sitting up like this, not being able to see anything I do. But you put these tabs on, and 
you take your mount just like this your mount goes up over top of it your bolts go through hold your mount down and then I'll show you guys what to do with the steps alright so don't you hate finding out you did something wrong after you've done it all the way across so there's little clips that go on right here they don't actually go on right there uh, they don't send you enough to do it that way um, the amount they send you is only enough to fit inside all the little cutouts at the top um, and they send you these other washers lock washers and nuts to go on the other side of these bolts so the bolt goes all the way through on the bottom you put a nut on the other side the top is where the clips go and that's where these twist into and so the clips go all the way across the top nuts on the bottom uh, don't do it like I did and put all the clips on the bottom and then you get to the very end and you're like wait a minute I'm using my last clip what am I supposed to do on the other side so uh, I have to take it all back apart and start over so that's why I'm doing it and you guys will know what not to do and what to do alright so I've got the step on I don't know how I feel I'm gonna be honest with y'all I don't know how I feel so I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like before so we're gonna walk over to the passenger side so you can tell with this step it it's connected well connected it, it's plastic molding up to the bottom of the rocker so the step itself is farther than four fingers down from the bottom of the door because it comes down but it's got this molding right here that comes up and almost looks like it's connected to the door so it comes up a good I'd say five inches from the step to the door now let me show y'all this driver's side it is not the same way there's not that connecting piece and uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it quite yet so if you look oh, I like blends in with the shadow y'all can't even tell but there we go it almost looks like an amp step when the amp is all the way down but I mean it's closer because I like it's almost touched my finger it's closer than the other side it's just more of like an optical illusion because there's this gap right here so you can see all the way through unlike on the other side so it's like I mean I was like wow when I put that on I was like that's like so much farther down but after measuring the other side and coming to this side it's really not that much farther down it just looks like it's farther down it's hard for you guys to see right now because we're in the the sun's on this side so it's kind of reflecting but I mean it doesn't look bad I know once this once the truck's a little bit taller because guys I plan on just throwing some 35s on it with the leveling kit for now but in the future I would like to put a four inch lift on it be able to run 35s or 37s uh, 35s with more clearance or 37s uh, with the same clearance as the 35s were before so the steps then wouldn't look bad I mean they don't look bad now don't get me wrong and I, I always told you guys I'm gonna be honest with you I could have said oh wow these look great I love them I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna be real with y'all like I don't know how I feel about it I like them but at the same time I don't like how they look like they're farther down it's like an optical illusion type thing uh, but I mean they are fully functional I have already stepped on them so they're they're in the same spot it's not like they're farther down. I mean, you guys saw put my hand in between on the other side. There's a good inch above my hand over here. My finger's almost touching. So, I, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to tackle this other side. Get this other side knocked out. And that way we can get a better look at it. Because right now it's in the shade on that side. The sun's on the back side of it. I'm having a hard time seeing it. I think once we get on this side, we'll have a better understanding of what it truly looks like and hopefully this side goes by a little bit quicker because doing that driver's side kind of sucked with the whole rusted bolt ordeal and then the clips in the wrong spot and all that i think i have a, a better understanding of what i need to do this go around so i'm gonna hurry up i'm gonna knock this passenger side out make sure everything's tightened down everything's cleaned up i'll pick you guys up to show you the end result <laughs>
so I haven't cleaned up my tools yet, but this is a better look at them. Sun is setting, just nice, beautiful sky, but they don't look, they don't look bad. I definitely, I feel like I need something to go in between. Either that or the truck just needs to be lifted higher. Uh, since the back of this has obviously not been washed in a while, I do need to like pressure wash it and I think cleaning it up and getting some new door seals so that's not flopping down there. I think that'll help a little bit, but it definitely, it's different coming from when there was something filling that in there. You couldn't see that light through there. You couldn't see through it, but I do like them. I don't want you guys to think like I don't like them. It's just different. So same as before, got both my hands. They're very sturdy, no issues there, but they do look good. I'm, I'm not upset with them. You guys a couple different angles on them. Like I said with Brandon steps, they remind me of amps when amps are down. They're, they're just very flat and dark. They remind me of amps. Since these are only riveted in, it would be pretty cool if I were to like pop these off and paint them somehow. Uh, like paint them to match the truck and put like some super thick clear coat on them or even if I took them off and I, I just posted the rock light video uh, but I mentioned in that this video is the next one after that you guys will see tint after this video but I mentioned in the rock light video of color matching the bed liner and you guys seem to like that so what would be pretty cool if I drilled these rivets out pulled these overlays off and did the same style color match bed liner on there let me know what you guys think down below but i think that would look pretty sick my whole idea with this truck is to not do anything crazy but i want i want a lot of color match i want it to be very clean but be a practical tow rig and look good and i think a lot of color matching is the best way to go about that uh, so let me know what you guys think um we're gonna be doing some color match door handles Color match tow mirrors, color match vi the rain guards, color match headlights, color match bumper, grill. But I don't want you guys to think it's going to be like too much color matching. It's going to tie the truck in. We're still going to have some broken up color here and there. It's not going to be everything on the truck is color matched, but I do want everything on the truck to kind of flow together. And these, these beds come color matched from factory. So it would look factory, but be bed liner. And I think that color match on those steps would break it up a little bit. So if I were to pull that off and bedline those, I think I might be onto something here. So uh, you guys, let me know what you think down below. I will have a link for these down in the description. Please go down there, click them. Go check out Yita Motor Store. Uh, they are also the same company that makes Autosaver 88 and a couple other headlight and uh, tow mirror style brands. They make steps, running boards. They make tow mirrors, normal mirrors, they make headlight housings, they make tail lights, they make third brake lights, they make headlight bulbs, you name it, they probably make it. So guys, go down, click the link in the description, go check out their store, uh, check out these steps, see if they have some for your truck. This is the second set that I've installed, and they have came with everything I needed to install them, both times, nothing missing, all mounts there, all hardware there. And as simple as that, guys, you just basically take your old steps off, put your new ones on. If you don't have old steps, the mounts come made for your vehicle. The mounts on these were different than the ones for Brandon, so they were obviously made for this vehicle. So go check them out, check out their store, uh, but click that link down below. There will be a discount code down there that you guys can use at checkout to save yourself some money. But besides that, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, drop a like on it. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. It's your if this is your first time here, click on my channel, watch some other videos, and uh, catch you guys in the next one.